G'day folks and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. This time we've got some three and three quarter inch Black Series reviews. Um, I was so, so, so excited to bring these reviews to you guys. Um, I'm so excited to have these figures in my collection. They've, they've just been released in Big W um, here in Australia. Um, they're formerly the, I guess formerly now, the, the, the uh, Walmart exclusives in the USA. Um, oh, thanks to Fly Guy to, for pointing that out to... to, to us collectors on Facebook too that they're actually out and about um, so I went and checked them out and when it went to a big W yesterday being the 27th um, of November 2016 for those playing at home in the future um, and they didn't yet have prices on them so they were price matched to the nearest figure which you know the standard three and three quarter inch lines are $15 each so they matched them to 15 afterwards found out that they're actually gonna retail for 25 um, being that the regular six inch black series are 35 and the standard figures are 15. So, um, but they are gonna be on sale for $19 on December 1st. So that's that's far more reasonable. Um, but yeah, $15, I'm not complaining at all. That's an awesome price. I'm not sure how well they're gonna sell at $25 each. The diehard collectors like myself will probably get them, but I don't see many others getting them either. Aside from that, I don't see people picking up a little figure like this and going, oh yeah, it's 25 bucks. So instead of paying $100 for the four figures, um, I paid 60 so quite happy. So we'll start off with Captain Cassian Andor. Um, also got Jin, uh, the Imperial Death Trooper, and the Scarif Stormtrooper. So we'll just have a quick look at the packaging. Uh, pretty basic, like the uh, Black Series is. We've got the name at the bottom, picture of Cassian. So that was the Black Series on the top. On the side, there's no numbering in this line, which is a little bit confusing for the collectors out there um, who like to have numbered figures. I think that's quite strange, but on the other side there, you can sort of see the name and Cassian written on the side. So there's nothing too special there, but the figure is absolutely awesome. I'm stoked with this guy. He's really good, really nicely detailed. Articulation is outstanding. I'm going to pop him off the stand. Um, accessory wise, he just comes with this rifle. And some of you may have seen the gin review if you haven't. Um, it does pop into three different pieces so you can take the stock off. And there's a peg on the front there so you can take the front off and you can just have it as a small, small pistol like that. I think the rifle looks a lot cooler and I'm going to super glue it together because it is a bit tight. Um, just for the purpose of this review, I decided to, oh, sorry, a bit tight, a bit loose. Opposite day. But I'm, I'm liking this particular one in its full piece like that. So I'm just gonna super glue this one together. I think it'll work a lot nicer. But nevertheless, it's a cool design. Looks great. And here we have Cassian. Try to bring him a bit closer. The lighting is ridiculous. So I hope you're getting a decent look at him. <laughs> My lighting setup is a bit crusty. There we go. That's a bit better. So it's a good, reasonably good likeness. Uh, Hasbro have had a bit of trouble with the uh, facial hair lately. And being that Cassian's sort of got that really light sort of fa 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 facial hair up the uh, up the cheekbones, it's a little it's a little hard to get that right. They really struggled with Poe, but this one looks pretty good. A nice brown, very rebel jacket. I love that they've continued on with this design with the strips down the side. That's just a, that's just an absolute hallmark of Star Wars. As uh, I'm glad just those subtle little design features are coming through. But all the creases are nice. Belt belt and holster being a separate piece. Of course, it is a working holster. But it's just a separate piece. It's glued. It's not even glued. That's cool. It's just sort of sitting there at his waist. I didn't notice. That's cool. So you can sort of push that up a little bit. Sorry, it is glued to his leg. Or it's pegged in there, I'm not sure. But the pants. 
and boots great he's a good looking action figure I'm really 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 fond of this guy nice soft plastic for the shirt there so you've got that sort of classic Han Solo sort of shirt that sort of pins across and has the flap again really cool look articulation is absolutely fantastic he's got the ball jointed head ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows ball hinged wrists got a really nicely done torso joint there which looks which looks good as well um, just really sculpted perfectly ball jointed hips swivel at the upper thigh there so that's that's something different we haven't seen that much um, for a long time um, ball hinge knees and ball hinge ankles so we've got all the articulation we want um, again I'm just super stoked to have these in stores here in Australia and have us Australian collectors get a chance to pick these ones up um, and hopefully the rest of the world follows suit um, as much as I do enjoy the five, five point of articulation figures and will continue to buy them this is this is where three and three quarter inch collecting is at um, I, again I'm not going to rattle on too much about that but it's it's great to see that Hasbro uh, have put in a lot of time and effort to these particular figures um, even if they are selling them at a bit more of a premium but nevertheless they're available to those who want them which is which is cool so anyway guys let me know what you think uh, in the comments below any thoughts and feedback would be fantastic and uh, I'm gonna do record the rest of the video so till my next one guys may the force be with you